How you doing? My name is Donnell Boyd, and I'm 10 organizer of the Mission Hotel. And so do you have a statement? Uh, I got a couple of questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, I want to know, would an officer be able to use the stage of when it's raining or after it's raining? Because it says nothing about water, it says flammable liquids. Okay, let's try to think that. I'll just paraphrase what they that's a great question. <laughs> so, I don't have the answer to this. I know that you don't want to use a taser around the body of water, but uh, we will do more research on whether or not it should be prohibited in rain, and I'll make sure that's in the plan. I appreciate the question. And the question. What about if the person has just ran through a puddle of water or fell in a puddle of water and now they're out of the water? But the clothes and soaking wet. Will the officer still be able to use a taser on him uh, or her? That kind of follows on the same. So the question is, should you take somebody if they're wet? If they're soaking wet. <laughs> and my second question is, if an officer violates any of the restrictions, will you arrest them or prosecute them, or will it be like swept under the rug and say that they would justify shooting the person? That would depend, obviously, on the circumstance. I mean, if it's a, depending, like, with all things, if it's an administration, administrative violation of the policy, mm -hmm. then they would be subject to the police department. If it was a criminal violation of the law, police officers are responsible for the law like everybody else. And my third question is, um, why do we have to follow after Memphis? Why can't we just um, go in a different direction? That's a, you know what? That's my point exactly. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I was thinking about we do. I right. we can do it better than we, we can do something much better than Memphis way of doing things and have Memphis coming up here and looking at how we're doing things. And because I know, like, out in the Mission District, foot patrols and bike patrols work. The money that y'all spend on taste, you can buy another uh, bike or another officer. Because um, last night I went to a meeting with the Alliance for a Better District 6, and they gave the police awards to stand and thank them for bringing down the crime. And I was wondering, why do we need more tasers and the crime rate is dropping? It's like, why are you arming them and they, the crime rate is going down? We can hold off on that arming them with tasers and, until this crime rate goes back up. That's why we're having this conversation to find out the direction we should go. Thank you. Thank you.